Hey Calvary, it's Pastor Ruben from the Parker Campus and it's a blessing to be with you today. Did you know that as followers of Jesus Christ that we have the greatest and most important message in the world, the gospel message, that we can have peace with God when we put our faith and trust in Jesus. And it is our responsibility as his followers to share that message of hope with others. When Jesus saved us, it wasn't so that we would sit back and wait for heaven. It was so that we would be his witnesses as we walk out our faith each and every single day. So there's actually work to be done, a lot of work. But here's the awesome part. We never do it alone. Jesus not only works in us, but through us and with us. Listen to what Paul the Apostle says in 2 Corinthians chapter 6, starting at verse 1. He says this, Working together with him, that's Christ, then we appeal to you not to receive the grace of God in vain. Paul just got done talking about how Jesus died for us so that we would live for him and no longer for ourselves and how he gave us the message of peace to tell others. He says that we are ambassadors for Christ, God making his appeal through us as we work together with him. We are God's co-workers. Paul wanted to make sure that we don't neglect or ignore what God has done in our lives. You see, God's transforming power in us wasn't for nothing. It wasn't in vain. It was so that we can show and share what the Lord has done, starting in our own lives, to grow in his word and in character and in faith as we live no longer for ourselves, but for Jesus. When we received his grace, his amazing grace, it wasn't for us to stand on the sidelines waiting, but to be in the game. Remember, we are his co-workers. There is work to be done. Jesus talked about it. He said, the harvest is plentiful, but the labors are few. Now, do you know someone who is not a follower of Jesus Christ? The answer is going to be yes, because all of us know someone who's not walking with God. Well, start there. Start with the people you know. Start with family, friends, coworkers. Tell them about Jesus' saving grace. You might be thinking, well, I'm not a pastor, a leader, or a theologian. Well, you don't have to be to share the good news. You don't have to be to share hope. And you don't have to be to share Jesus. Why don't you start with how God has changed your life? How the saving grace of God redeemed and restored you and how he can do the same for them. Remember, we have the greatest and most important message ever. And we have the honor and privilege of working with God to share that message to a lost world. When you got saved, it wasn't for nothing. So don't treat it as such. God wants to reach others using your life as a testimony of his grace. So, will you share God's amazing grace with others today and this week? I hope you do. God bless you.